Hey up everybody, uh, a few weeks back uh, I mentioned that I was going to do a few maintenance jobs on my loco. I'm just about to start them now, it's still it's still a bit cold in Gary's though, you, pro you can probably hear diesel heater clicking away in the background there, because me, me, um, my camera zoom mic tends to zoom into that clicking noise for some reason. Uh, it's not actually as loud as it sounds on video. Anyway, I'm digressing. <laughs> Where were I up to? And, uh, if you don't know, you probably already know people that follow me anyway. I made this about three years back now. It's coming up for its third MOT, I think. So it's had at least a couple of years good use. And uh, my hand pump started to leak. Right, so I know all you sweet pea owners and meter made owners etc are going to know all this. It's just basically, I'm just documenting it for anybody that might be new to making one or new to running one etc or ain't quite sure with what the amp pump does and, and where it's situated on loco. So, uh, my started to leak a little bit because to be fair it has had a lot of use, I've relied on it more than anything because me, me injector has never worked properly on this that's another job I've got to look, in, look into after this anyway, so it started to leak on my last run out it's still pumping but it's, uh, it is leaking water so the hand pump then on, in the sweet pea book is situated under this side at the rear end of the loco here uh, it's not necessarily got to be there, it's just I've put it there like it told you to in the in the book when I made it. You can put probably put it anywhere you want to really. Um it depends on you know depends on you really. But they're normally in this position here. So I'm gonna take this off, we'll strip it down and have a look and uh see what's see what's wrong with it. Okay, then I'm under here, then at, at rear at loco now, and uh, all it is, it's got uh, two pipes on it. It's got a, a pipe coming from the tanks into this part at pump, and then you can't, you probably can't see it back here. There's another pipe comes out at top that feeds to clack valve into boiler. So all I'm going to do is re remove them two pipes. And I've, I've actually situated my pump on a on a little bra, uh, brass bracket here, which I made up. I'm just going to undo these two bolts here, and then uh, once they're undone, the old pump can come out. We'll get it on workbench, and we'll have a look what's what's problem. All I've got to do then is take this linkage out here on this side so I can get the piston out and have a look at the seal.
think it's just that silicon o-ring that's worn. I mean, to be fair, it's not been in t it's not been in that long, and it's um, it looks like it's wore it out. But I have used it quite a lot. Now what I'm thinking here is uh, it does feel a bit loose in there. It's not sealing properly. Right, if I just put that piston back in then. Uh, in, uh, that's the furthest position the piston comes out. So what I'm going to do here I think. I'm going to machine another o-ring groove in there so I can have a double a double seal and that that should belt and brace it a bit better then uh, then I'll put two o-rings in uh, just to belt and brace it Okay, I've got to put a groove in a sixteenth wide, uh, zero point zero six two thou, and I've got to go in a sixteenth deep.
Well, that's it for this part then. Uh, I'll give that a try next time I'm up at track and I'm going to move on to injector or something else that wants maintaining now. Anyway, if you found that useful and informative, uh, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you on the next part to this then. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.